CP. Are you serious? He's gone. Fanny, Fanny, Thomas all the way. Touchdown, Redskins, 64 yards. 26 minutes. <laughs> he's pretty sharp, you know. He'll coach you up on the, the Miami guys and everything else. He's kind of he's kind of fun to be around. Got an opinion too. You know, I've been blessed to uh, uh, had an opportunity to go out and be myself and say the things that I say. And you know, for the outside world, they can deal with it how they deal with it. 26 minutes with Clinton Portis, CP. Teach him something. Welcome to 26 minutes, the Christmas edition, episode 18. Joined on the couch, Monica McNutt, uh, Fred Smoot. Our new co-host, Fred, <laughs> you know, yeah, is know. back. He can't get enough of 26 Basically. minutes. So we got the Christmas edition. Uh, Monica is dressed up as a reindeer Rudolph. elf, but yeah. she's Look too my tall sweater. to be an elf. You? Oh, that's sweet how you just I'd be turned like, that on. A giant elf. I'd be like Will Ferrell, an elf. Yeah. yeah. Was my dad asked me this morning if I was taller than you, too. I was like, in heels, yes. Well, you you're taller, taller than, than me? me outside of here. I was like, Smooth, I'm, I'm taller than you. You ain't taller than me, CP. Boy, I'm the tallest. Nine. We're not going to argue. Five, nine. This. I'm six feet tall. <laughs> Boy. So, like, your shoulders right here, your neck this tall, and then you got number <laughs> head. What are you talking about? So, I'm the big elf. You guys can be little elves. Um, <laughs> Smooth, it's always fun to have you with us. Always. And it's uh, Christmas. It is Christmas. So, bad news on Christmas. The Redskins playoff hopes are uh, diminished, but mm. you look at the positive, you see the fight in the team yeah. uh, coming out to play on Sunday. Uh, and, and then you have to look at the building blocks. So this first uh, topic I would suggest as building blocks, you got to identify the players on the team that you think should be here um, and you build around. Yeah. So we're going to start with you, Marta. Well, we started this conversation last week. Yeah. You got to give Josh a look. Dotson? We got like six okay, right, Josh. You're right. We, we got like Josh. six Josh. Let's talk about our quarterback, our local Josh Johnson. All DMV right. folks seem to really get behind him and galvanize him. Um, not a flawless game, but to a degree, he hasn't been in the league long yeah. in terms of actually playing. But I think he's a guy that for nothing else, I think camaraderie matters. Now, y'all were yeah. in NFL locker rooms, yeah. but I think the team kind of got behind him. I think he definitely deserves a shot at the roster spot next year. I think he studied the team. When he came sure. in, you know, it was a big difference between him and Mark Sanchez. It's amazing what Madden can do for you. Oh, yeah. hey, listen, <laughs> I have used Madden as a weapon, too, in the past. Like, you can literally, Seriously? Like, it ain't all the playbook, but it's like half of their playbook is legit. Okay. All right, so I can understand him saying, you know what, I don't know everybody in the locker room. Let me look down this roster, and I can put a name with a face. And like you said, they got behind him. He's not been shaky. He settled everything down. And you would think with them having, what, six, seven guards come in and play, the fact that he's the fourth quarterback, there'll be a lot more false starts, offsides. It's been none of that. He's, he's gave them a belief that, you know what, no matter what, we can go out and win. I would love to play for a team like this. They just don't give up and I think the fans need to appreciate that that's the best Christmas present you can get these guys have never went out there and cheated us for a scrambling quarterback you would think there's going to be more holding calls just because of the type of athlete that Josh Johnson is when you look over uh the last two or three weeks even for Morgan Moses uh who, who leads, leads the, the league, league yeah. in yeah. holding penalties title. you haven't seen Much flags on yeah. the ground uh, when it comes to Josh, having a cadence, having to adjust uh, and get guys in the right position, I think he's done a great job at. Uh, the next thing when you look at Josh, and, and we talk about, uh, you got to look at the receivers because mm. Chris Cooley pointed out uh, on that last interception, that should have been a corner route, and, and Josh Doxson was looking inside, kind of kind of a broken play because he's seen the blitz. So he kind of had a sight adjust, and you really don't have a sight adjust on, on play. a corner route. Yeah. So when you look, it, the blame goes to Josh Johnson, but he's just trying to make a play because this is his read, and his read he told is doing to something ahead. off the yeah, yeah, so um, you look at that situation. Then for me, I'm going to look at a guy like AP, and AP is kind of what rejuvenated this Absolutely. whole this team, back yeah, this, yeah. yeah, because if you look early on, with the AP edition uh, changed the running backs room because a lot of these guys were kind of tipping into it. AP all of a sudden got everybody hitting the hole. I don't care if it's a hole there or not. You're downhill to it and through it. And I think what he does for this team, uh, being the face of this team. Um, kind of calms this team down when you got a guy that you can look at and say oh this is how he carries himself and the thing that I think will work best is you got a young guy in Geist that you're hoping is the future 
To be that gap in between guys coming back from injury, you got AP sitting right here. Here's an opportunity for them to be in the same running backs room yeah. where guys can actually learn. Whether he in the game or AP in the game, you can actually one two people to death with these two. So I think he's gonna soak up his work habit. I think that, that's, that's gonna be the big thing. Yeah. I think that's what this guy has brought. When you see a guy now, I, I'm looking at a future Hall of Famer, and he out working me. Nah, that's going to make me step my game up. And don't let me be in the same running back room as this guy. You feel like you shorting yourself. You feel like I. this is why I ain't probably been getting my just due or getting the carries I need. So I think it always starts from the top. Is some of your hardest workers on the team is your best players. I think it's, it's a trickle-down effect in that. So I guess for me, the question then becomes, will AP still be here? Like, did he have Oh, most definitely. He's got to have him here. I'm, sorry, I'm saying, did he have enough of a year that somebody else would be like, yo, like, he could fit? Like, no, no oh, he wants to stay here. Yeah, I was just about to say, okay. AP okay. seems like the type of dude who's loyal to that opportunity. Even in him okay. coming here in the first yeah. place, he's loyal to the Redskins giving him that opportunity. Now, I can't speak – on AP's behalf, if a team come and offer him $7 million for one year, yeah. hell, I'm going to take it too. Yeah, I'm gonna take but it, at right. the same time, I think just him knowing he's going to be the guy in this system uh, where he's going to get the opportunity to carry a team is not like going to another team because we seen AP go to New Orleans it and it work. didn't, it didn't work. work. We seen yeah. AP in Arizona didn't and work. it didn't work. Yeah. All of a sudden you find an organization that needs you as much as you need them and it works. It works. So you yeah. go over a thousand yards in this situation. I don't think you're going to turn it down and say, well, I'm going to go gamble somewhere else. I I'm sure as a back uh, especially with, with the caliber of back the AP is having an outstanding career in Minnesota. All of a sudden, you get an uh, opportunity to get some continuity in D.C., right. I think you stay. I just think we got too many Joshes on the roster. I think <laughs> it's always a three-name <laughs> limit for me. It can't be three of the same name people on the Josh. So, really, I'm serious. For Christmas, we're going to figure out which Joshes we want to keep. Do we want to keep Josh Jones? Do we want to keep Josh Norman? Do we, do we want to keep Josh here wide receiver? Dotson, do we want to keep – we got Joshua Hosley. We got Joshes all over this team. And I think some stuff going to have to hit the fan because are you going to pick up the fifth-year option yeah. on Josh? That's the, that's the question. This is a tough situation. You look at the fifth year of, of Josh Dotson, uh, and, of course, this is speculation amongst us. Uh, when you look at that fifth year, is, is this the guy that you say – is the leader of my receiving group. Yeah. At, at five years in, you got Jameson Crowder, who's going to be available mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, then you look and you got Jordan Reed, and you got a, a, a elderly Vernon Davis. Davis. Yeah. So elderly, wow. Okay, go I ahead. mean, he's well, still I mean, playing I mean, at a high I mean, level, I mean, but hey, it's it's a privilege. To be an elder, a, okay, a in veteran. NFL. Yes, in no, he's he's made it to yeah. elder status. He's old, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Back to the main point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, you need to receive When you old, you get your own smell. Old people get their own smell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody old house. Yeah, yeah, you come out of there smelling like the house. <laughs> Vernon has made it to that point. All right, fine. Well, I think so. I, what I would ask you guys then is, when you're making those decisions, how much do you weigh out the upside? versus the productivity that you've seen so far. The question is, the front office, is it going to scare them into keeping Josh Dodson because they don't have anybody else? That's the question. I do you want to get that money to Crowder? Well, I, I think Crowder is a, a, has a bigger upside just because he can return uh, it, on the field. When Crowder is on the field, he's probably your most explosive guy. He's the best yak guy you got. Yeah, he's, he's run out of the kitchen. That's what I don't like guy. about Dodson. And he's, he's the guy that, that can't uncover in a critical situation. So when you're looking, I got to pay Crowder yeah. just for work he's done and the potential in, in having a quarterback and having a running game like a full season of Jameson Crowder over a full season of Josh Doxson, yeah. which, uh, again, we don't make decisions on this show. We're not saying get rid we of somebody. We're just throwing it out there. Yeah, we just throwing it <laughs> in the universe because somebody got to go. Yeah, somebody got to go. We you know, know a lot that. Of people, well, a lot of people don't want to discuss this, but someone has to go. We understand everyone's not coming the back. The team would never and, be the same. Year yeah. in and year out, yeah. the team always changes. And if you, right now, Washington Redskins, you got to look at the rest of the NFC East. Cal I mean, uh, Dallas is young and talented right now. The Giants are young and super talented. They look out for this team next year. And the Eagles are the Eagles. So you got to say, where am I? All right, my quarterback probably won't be coming back next year. All right, he won't just because he's not healthy. And I got a lot of money there. You got to say, all right, Cole will be back. Justin will be back. Do I want to go a full year with those guys? Or do I want a Jacoby Brissett, a Teddy Bridgewater? Or do I want to draft Will Griff from West Virginia? 
Well, speaking of change, you're probably going to have to draft a, a quarterback. But one thing that doesn't change is the fact that Bills has to be paid and Monica got a pair. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about our friends at your local D.C. area Meineke Car Care Centers. It's a great place to, for everything you need to it get is. done to keep your car on the road. It's so important to maintain your car, and there are 19 Meineke Car Care locations in the greater Washington, D.C. area to help you do so. So, is car repair on your holiday shopping list? It is. With services from oil changes to brake repair, the experts at Meineke have you covered. Right now, get a basic oil change for only $19.95. Go in today or save time by booking online at Meineke.com. Meineke, on with life. Meineke is about to make me get a Heineken. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it, it all works together. Helping people improve their lives is what should drive business. That's the belief at Coke Industries, which employs more than 65,000 people across America. The team at Coke works together to meet the world's changing needs in transportation, medical care, water filtration, household goods, energy efficient building products, and everyday technologies, all while consuming fewer resources. See the innovations firsthand at KOCHindustries.com. You do such a great job. I, I, I just, is this going to be hard for Jake to get his job back, man? You're, you're Jake putting so State much Form. pressure on Jake from State Form. He don't even want to wear khakis on the couch anymore. He gets the, he gets the evening off. I mean, everyone is, is home for the holidays, and Jake we're here working hard. Right and Jake decides, you know what? I'm calling in today. Jake takes the so easy way out. Yeah. yeah, but I got an opportunity to hang with Jake in Nashville. It was a great time. I was so jealous. Like, you're I always didn't realize you jealous. were in Nashville. You're always it's jealous. jealous. Right. Right. Nashville, you can party in Nashville. I've People don't things. look at Nashville as a party city, but you can go get your bar humbug on. <laughs> and, and, so, and, 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 uh, <laughs> so, so I did my first Redskins rally in the states. I did it in London a couple years ago, but I've never done a rally. I've yeah. never been to a rally. And I'm it was just something that. that, yeah, I'm surprised too after going because I had the management, every fan, everybody in there rally thinking like, whoo. You was out there to teach them something. Did oh, we I had a chance to win? Uh, uh, listen, me <laughs> and Cooley. You say it like that. We actually had a chance. I, yes, I'm just away. saying that. That's a lot. You got to realize to put belief in a fan base. That they see one fourth of the team That's true. be hurt. That's true. And then to wake up and say, you know what? We got a chance to beat the Titans. And they got their whole entire so, team. So let me ask y'all this. Do, do fans on the road, for whatever reason, seem to have a greater belief? They actually do. Because for a fan to travel, I met a fan that traveled from San Antonio. He drove up wow. to Nashville. You had fans come from Chicago yeah. that drove down to Nashville. So when you look, like you don't realize, because you don't really get this, this personal conversation where guys have – women and men have access and it's like the mean point for all the fans that truly believe yeah. and they can go through and have a conversation with you and talk history of this team and tell you what they see from their perspective and why they still believe so this is totally different in action i actually had a great time and would love to do it more often hint, hint, 26 uh, minutes at the rally yeah Was oh that, that would be so dope oh no nah, it's for that new show 27 minutes <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Smooth, this your last time on the couch, man. You, it's you. Christmas, man. Hey, although, I was 27. I started out as number 27. That was my first number. In high school, I was 27 playing wide receiver. I couldn't catch it. I was say, with that number on that wide out, <laughs> nobody was threatened by you. But at DB, I was locking everything I, down. I so, a lot of running backs can play DB. Last, was it two weeks ago? Uh, what, during the... Who put up for the Titans? The Jags game? Jacksonville yeah. game? We were watching, and one of the girls was like, I just can't get, one of the girls at the watch party was like, I just can't get over 26. Like, that's supposed to be CP. Like, it'll never be right. And I was like, aw, he'll appreciate Don't that. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Please do not. I was like, well, AP's doing well, though, so it's cool. It's a salute. I don't know why this man is in so much competition with me. You know what? I'm going to end up doing smooth. Like, you know, this is not a situation we can make fun of, but uh, you go back through the week. This this show actually tries to give you the opportunity of everything that's going on uh, around sports anywhere, everywhere, on every level. And New Jersey High School Athletic Board uh, wrestling competition and the ref make a uh, kid cut off his dreads or he's going to DQ him. And the kid who I think will be traumatized from mm -hmm. uh, this point on after making that decision to cut his hair off and go wrestle. Uh, first off, it, to me, it was so many things wrong with this Absolutely. picture. And 
Number She's one been is suspended since then. He, the, uh, he, mm -hmm. he. I'm, yeah. Right. So yeah. number one is the other men that were that were in attendance should have stood up As in for fans this kid or yeah. co or coaches. Coaches, Gr grown whoever, people. It's like, grown people, people here. I'm gonna I'm stop. So if here. I see something wrong, then I'm gonna say, no, nah, man. Listen, that's not how this is gonna be done. And he's so not I don't the care what he to wrestle so with is, dress in his but head. But this is what I want to ask you guys as parents, because to me, right, I don't, I, I don't know the cultural makeup. I don't know the awareness that was involved in this situation. The way that it was portrayed when it first hit social media was that this kid took one for the team. Now, obviously, we saw that and was like, wait a minute, you got it all misconstrued. But to me, as a like. If I had to envision myself in such a situation, my parents have instilled in me that you got other options. And not that that kid didn't think he had other options. Maybe he actually wanted to, to compete and that was a primary thing. But the thing that I took away was the importance of parents absolutely pouring into their kids, making sure their kids know who they are, know what their options are. Because I don't know if the kid is as supported if he decided to forfeit. What, what, I, what's, a hair, what's a hairstyle? It's an expression of you. Of, of it's you. your person. All right. So you telling me in sports, it's a no dread law. No, that's I, not. That's what I'm saying. You are free to grow your hair any way you want to grow your hair. But if, if they trying to go, and I'm assuming they trying to get to the, the playoffs of wrestling or whatever, right. however. So if I'm that kid, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to mess the team up just because I got dreads. I, right, I'm willing to do it. But in the bigger picture, I shouldn't be forced Absolutely. to have to cut my hair to continue to wrestle. And first of all. I'm not a big fan of high school wrestling. Kids out here with onesies on. You know, I'm just not with it. So for me, I think this is where parents being in attendance play right. a huge role. Mm -hmm. So for me, as as a high school athlete, my mom was at every event that I ever had, and every kid don't have that luxury. Like you don't you don't realize how fortunate you are at the time. I could name the four games, five games my mom missed from high school to NFL. In, in all five of those games, something bad happened to me mm. that she wasn't in attendance to. So I can name all five games. Like I couldn't play until I saw my mom. In the moment that I see my mom, in, in high school, she used to have this bell, this Mississippi State like, bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the moment I hear this cowbell, I, I kid you not, within Shortly after there's a touchdown happening because my comfort and my ease, like, okay, mama is here. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in college, it was the same way. I, they were meet at the hotel until I seen my mom. I couldn't go out. Like, you know, we played in Washington and we lost and she wasn't at the game. Uh, I just still remember, I think we played in, in Boston College one time and it was a close game, although we won. Um, just having those memories to say, oh, man, my mom didn't make this game. I just never could get easy. But this is the role and the importance that parents play. Because of his parents, one of his parents is at the game, and this proposition comes up, your parents step Stopping in and that. say, Absolutely. my child ain't cutting nothing. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. we gonna stop this. My child not doing that. In fact, my child let's ain't go. wrestling. Right. Exactly. We let's go. Them. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Get your stuff. Let's That's go. the first so, thing but, my mom would but say. Let's say that his parents had to work, whatever it is. Like, I would hope that that was a decision he made because he wanted to compete and not because he didn't, he didn't let know. his team down. Right. Right. But and he shouldn't have to. He, he shouldn't have yeah, to have to make this decision. That's Absolutely. a decision a child shouldn't have to make, and that's where I feel. In in you talk about communities, like both of us being from Mississippi, we understand what being raised by the community is. Yeah. And people like raised by the community uh, in today's society, you don't trust anyone. But it's still good people. But today, you still today, got, you can't talk to somebody as kids like yeah, they could like, in my day. Like my neighbor could whoop me. Yeah. yeah right? no, and you. then you so, sent you, you home and you got another no, whooping. Right? No, no, yeah. seriously. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel yeah. you. We had our we had our whole little everybody knew the kids and the parents in our neighborhood too. But here's the other part to this that I think is important. Like I don't know that his coach or his other teammates understood the weight of what he was being asked to do. Because for your t for your trainer to show up with some clippers, like let's get it. Come on, we gotta cut them off. Well, you in the midst of it. Dude. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. I don't know if anybody can grasp the weight. We ain't in the midst of nothing. If I'm sitting here crying and terrified and I got my hand over my eyes. Somebody got to say, Paul, somebody got to say, no, nah, why is this kid crying? I why agree. is this? Because if I'm getting ready to fight and I start crying, everybody leave me alone. I, I promise too. you that. Mm -hmm. So in this situation where you see this kid is vulnerable, when you see this kid is breaking down, I just feel like as, as a parent or as a coach, 
because Somebody this is where coach coaching yeah. come into play. This is where you you as a coach, it's bigger than mm-hmm. a win. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I just feel like that situation for that kid was so, so critical. So you said like he was let down by the, the infrastructure Everybody. and, 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 and the Absolutely. people around yeah. him. Because somebody, if I see your kid and he's being mistreated, I'm not going to let him mistreat it like, well, I'm glad that ain't my son. Mm-hmm. I'm going to step right. up and say, right. no, nah, listen, right. it's not going down like that. Yeah. And until his parents, either you're going to call his parents and talk to his parents, you're going to talk to somebody else or ain't nobody doing nothing. Yeah. No. Yeah, so what it, you gonna do to me? His mother has since posted on social media that yes, it was traumatic, but he's doing well, um, and you know he'll recover from it all. But it, it is a conversation that we he's, definitely across sports though, because I think sometimes you don't understand where kids are coming from, what's important to them. Then you let stuff. Well, like they this take a long time to grow their hair Absolutely. the way they want to, mm-hmm. and it happened just like that. Mm-hmm. He took three years to grow this hair, and five minutes it's gone. So you know. Kids care about what they care about, but like CP said, man, I think it's you got to put that on the older people around. For sure. Well, a good that. thing about it, you know, in today's society, he can go get a sew in like you got. Yeah. Him <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he can go, go get, get a safari. He go get a safari. Go get a highlight like Tiger. <laughs> but yeah, but listen, when we come back, we're gonna get to uh, discuss our Christmas, our our idea of Christmas, yes. and our New Year's. Mm-hmm. Uh, resolutions that we never stick to. Yeah. But before we return, we're going to let Monica take it away. Football might be the gift that keeps on giving, but it's not something you can wrap in a shiny paper and send to a friend. For that kind of gift, look to the Virginia Lottery's Holiday Games. When you give holiday games to family, friends, or neighbors, you're giving the gift of joy. And you could be given the gift of awesome cash prizes, too. Give $1 Holiday Sparkle Scratchers to everyone in your fantasy football league. Pass out $2 Gingerbread Double Scratchers to all your coworkers. Surprise your in-laws with some $20, $100, or $200 to win Scratchers. Everyone likes a good game. The season of giving is here, so give the gift of joy. Give holiday games from the Virginia Lottery. Look for Holiday Sparkle, Gingerbread Doubler, Winter Luck, 10,000 bonus, Win either $100 or $200 and all the other Virginia Lottery games at your favorite lottery retailer. Are uninvited pests ruining your plans? Let PMSI, the pest control partner of the Washington Redskins, handle it for you. Call today for your free inspection and they'll work around your schedule to provide you the best solution possible to defend your home territory against pests of all kinds, including mold. Visit mypmsi.com for the game plan to control the pests on your home turf. That's mypmsi.com. This is Rick Goslin with the Talk of Fame Network. This NFL season, FanDuel has more ways to win than ever before. New Beat the Score contests pay out everyone who hits a certain score. Now it's easy to find your friends and challenge them to play head-to-head fantasy contests for cash or bragging rights. New players, try FanDuel today and get a $20 bonus when you make your first deposit. Just sign up at FanDuel.com slash Rick. New users only. Bonus not available for withdrawal. State and age restrictions apply. For eligibility rules, terms, and conditions, go to FanDuel.com. Hail to the Redskins this year with gear from the official Redskins team store. From Nike player and personalized jerseys to a great selection of new era hats, the Redskins team store has you covered. Plus, we have an amazing variety of youth and ladies apparel and everything you need to throw the perfect tailgate party. And we have signs, flags, and collectibles for the perfect Redskins man cave. So hail to the Redskins in style at any of our four Redskins team stores or online anytime at RedskinsTeamStore.com. John Riggins here with a little tip. If you need a mortgage, take my advice and use the pros at McLean Mortgage. Buying a home can be stressful and filled with hassles. The experts at McLean Mortgage understand what an important financial investment your home is and will seamlessly guide you through the process to successful home ownership. Smooth, amazing, easy, professional, and first rate are just some of the reviews from their tens of thousands of homeowners, including me. I trust McLean Mortgage, and I hope you will too. Check them out at McLeanMortgage.com. Um, <laughs> did I mesmerize you? Did I just mesmerize you? Listen, you did mesmerize me, but what was even more mesmerizing as I was looking, I realized Smoot was wearing stockings uh, to come on to this show. So, first I've of never all, seen a pair of, even though Christmas, I don't wear stockings. <laughs> 
I don't even wear long jeans. I told you, you know the great thing about Christmas, I love Christmas because it puts me in the spirit. I need to get your address too because this is what I do for my friends on Christmas. Man, I've been trying to get you to deliver me a smoked turkey <laughs> for the No, 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 no. I got something even better that I, I've been doing the blue foot for years and he fall for the same. I literally mail them gift cards uh -huh. with no money on them. <laughs> like, listen, listen to me. I, this year, I went all out. We got some Louis Vuitton gift card. <laughs> sent them to like 10 of my friends. Can't wait to get the call in about three weeks when they actually go shopping. Why do you do that? Because it's the thought that counts. Yeah, See, okay. if you ever want to put the thought that count to the test, uh -huh. do something like that. At least I thought about you <laughs> to send you a postage stamp. Because that's really what I'm sending you. Because it ain't no gift card. And I love to get the call. See, last year I did all like Starbucks. Because everybody fell in love with uh -huh. Starbucks. Uh -huh. So three days later, I get a call. Man, I'm in Starbucks. They say ain't no money on the call. <laughs> <laughs> I told them what just I pay for it. I ain't say what no money on the call. I sent you a gift card. That was, hey, that, you got to get it loaded. Hilarious. I sent you a gift card. That's you hilarious. can get it. So when you look at when you look at Christmas, I know at this stage in life, uh, you're really not. We get the same story. I'm not sure about you, Monica, but uh, the first thing we hear is you got everything. What do you get? Someone who has everything. I wear question. hoodies every day. Some it's new. a new hoodie. Exactly. It's a new hoodie come out every day. It's new black t-shirts. It's new pair of shoes. Get me some. It's, Grab a gift card. it's baseball like caps. No, I'm not, I'm not, do I look like What that mean? I don't know. That, like, that mean I accept gifts that I don't even like because I'm going to re-gift them next year. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, every gift got a purpose in a home. And sometimes it's the thought. And one, one thing we grew up doing, especially once you make it to the league and stuff, I had one or two family members, no matter what, they would get me a gift. I don't care if it's a pair of socks. I don't care if it's a card. They remember me. Everybody else, you the same old excuse. Hey, man, you got everything. I ain't going to yeah, be spending man, my I'm, money. I don't know what to get you. Well, hey, take me out to dinner. How about you that? You know what I mean? Do something. <laughs> Buy me some. I wear baseball caps. I love baseball caps. And this is what, it, what happens is you make me feel like you don't know me. Because if you know me every day, I'm in jogging pants and a hoodie. That's the most simple, comfortable gift that you can ever get. A man... Oh, you can wear the same pair of jogging pants like five a day, times. Five yeah. days in a row. Yeah, five days in a row. No worries. Christmas is for kids, though? Yeah, no, know. Christmas is for people. Like, it's for people. But what's the enjoyment of Christmas? Because it's not gifted. The food, gifted. the like, family. Yeah, but the it's games. the food, the family, and the games. Even with kids, they unwrap the, unwrap the gifts. And, and it's, it's like, oh. And oh okay, they go on back to play yeah, video games. They, they, don't they go back to the same exact thing. Even with people, when you go home to visit and everybody gather at a family gathering, it's, oh, it's good. It's good to see you. You know, you got, you got that one person you're looking forward to. That's probably your uncle, uncle or your auntie. Whoever that you cool yeah. with, yeah. Uh -huh. That you love to see that's going to entertain you the entire time. Everybody else is kind of one of these fake handshakes. And everybody and, can't and wait to get back and, home. Yeah, and everybody in a rush to get back home to do nothing all over again. You guys. I ain't trying to be the Grinch. This is just the this truth. This is a little Grinchy. It's no, little no, 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 no. The one thing, facts hurt feelings. Okay. Like, facts hurt feelings. That's always going to be the truth of it all. In, in Christmas, it brings us together. It does not mean we don't have problems. I feel you. It don't mean the problems are gone. We get to eat together. We get to chill together. Then everybody go back their separate ways. And I've always told my family, we can't just get together doing holidays. Every yeah. day is Christmas. Mm -hmm. We need to start to... We, we See, one thing with family... Either something bad bring us together, uh -huh. or holidays. Uh -huh. It got to be more than that. Guys, I mean, I love Christmas. I can tell. Even with all the drama yeah, we that we family tell, brings. You think you're Santa Claus with these Listen. white boots, so. Yeah, I was wondering. I, I didn't know what Listen. they... I just, I'm feeling this as a new neutral thing. I love these. Okay, anyway, but my favorite parts of Christmas is family games. We play, like, we play personalized charades. Where do y'all like do make pajamas the pajamas and all? No, we don't do that. Oh, but we do the games. <laughs> this ain't five heartbeat. No, hey, <laughs> no, right now, the most pajamas popular thing in. to yeah, do the big ones is everybody dress up the same in big onesies mm -hmm. and stuff and sit around the fire and drink whiskey. Or take family photos or that too. Well, everybody doing it for the gram now. It's Absolutely. all for the gram The now. gram has ruined Christmas. The gram has ruined the and world. And traveling, because you yeah. can't look like a bum when you're traveling. You so listen, a... although I want to get to y'all idea of Christmas, I'm more excited about this New Year's conversation and topic that we were having uh, b before the camera started rolling. So New Year's resolutions yeah. that you don't stick to. Nobody your, sticks nobody to Nobody sticks to it. Like New Year's resolution for me at least lasts maybe at the longest seven days. 
But for you, what's oh, your New so Year's So here's resolution? one that I did stick to. I made it a point to always wash my face when I had on makeup. Like, because I used to just go to sleep, whatever. And so I, I have done that one. Ooh. I never, I know, girls, sometimes we'd just be like, I'm tired, I'll wash it off in the morning, Wake whatever. Wake up, yeah, strange in there. Um, uh, no. <laughs> no, that's what it is, girl. They wear a lot of makeup. They look different with that to make them than they do. Oh, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm not that chick. I'm not going to fool you. We can go to the pool on the first date, whatever. That's fine. No makeup needed. Anyway, um, I always said that I'm going to be on time for everything. I have yet to. I've gotten better, but I still be running late. I usually last to Black History Month. Usually the second <laughs> week when we go into the Frederick, Frederick Douglass stage <laughs> of, the, of the month. But January, I stick to the code. Okay, but what are some that you can't seem to get over? Well, uh, I don't ever have, like, I don't ever want to lose weight or nothing. I, like. No, usually it's something that's self-betterment. Okay. Like everybody takes a self-betterment. So I say, you know what, I'm just going to be a better person to the person I'm dating. I, uh, maybe I'm not going, I'm going to stop cheating. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm going to stop doing that Black History Month, huh? <laughs> It's a short month. Smooth. Please get out of here. Smooth. Hey. Smooth. Hey. hey. Smooth. You know what's so hard about February? <laughs> it's the fact that you have everything in February. Super Bowl, All-Star, Valentine. Bla- like, oh. yeah, you have too many I, Y'all about to make me mad. No, February. that's why I stopped dating around right three days before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't start back dating until February 16th. So I can miss <laughs> all the major holidays. No Christmas presents. At least no you're Valentine's. At least yeah, you're I honest. ain't doing New Year, but hey, time the 15th show up. What you doing, big head? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are out of control. So wrong. for me, last year, a resolution that I stuck to, uh, uh, myself and EJ, myself and Edge, we made a pact that we would do 10 trips. We were like, we got to do 10 trips yeah. this year. Like and vacation? Like yeah, 10 vacation. Okay. So we, we did 10 vacations, and we were there by... September. September yeah. Like by the time September came, That's cool. we were there. Yeah. And it was so exciting. Like we were really excited. Like, CP, boy, what you got? You got something? Like he just called me last week. Like, dog, like we gotta go somewhere. And I just came back I don't from Europe. I don't no more. Europe. He took my money on the pool table <laughs> a couple of years ago. <laughs> but that's my boy, man. He's a great person, man. Edge great. All right, dude, so what's man. the New Year's so, resolution for twenty nineteen? So for me to start working out. I've never Please? worked out. No I didn't one know you understands working out at all. I've never worked out. Nah, he's a Burger King it's man. It's good. For you. I don't even want you to like you My entire career, I've never worked out. Like, but I really want to get in the gym. And it's not really to lose weight. It's more to tone up and just stay like Heart healthy. Health. Yeah. You know Heart what I mean? Health. Like yeah. like health. I'm not worried about oh as long as I work out, I can still go eat whatever I want. I'm not trying to get fine. This isn't uh, uh oh I'm 30 and I'm going to do something. Well. Yeah, I just want to work out to get healthy. Like I enjoy running around with the kids. Like for you know, for the holidays, we're going to the mountains and going uh, uh, skiing and uh, so fun. Yeah. Uh, snowboarding yeah. and all this. And I'm so excited. But the only thing I can think of is, dang, I just Am played. I going to be able to keep up with him? Yeah, like, no, it's dang, I just played in this football game for Thanksgiving <laughs> and I still, still haven't recovered. <laughs> My knee is still hurt me to this day <laughs> from playing in, in, in the turkey bowl. Yeah. And it's just like, if I get on this snowboard and I can't, Maneuver, or I can't just get fall. out of the way. Just, you know? off. just small, yeah, just small. Hey, hey, fall it's, backwards. It's my fortieth this year. Okay, smooth. So you know, hey, not, day. for I your thirty ninth, you went and got a so <laughs> in beard. No, no, I, I grew this beard. Hey, I have been loving this beard game. I didn't know beards was in like Listen, that. Listen, let me tell you, smooth. All I need is a downy man shirt on, and they, they do not <laughs> stop Beards coming. Beards are game like, changers. So, so what I'm gonna do in in this year, my New Year's resolution is just to refine myself. Okay. It's just to Cross the T's and dot the I's. That's too big. You got to give me one area specifically. Just one. I need to start to focus on, like, I'm all over the place. Okay. Like, I, I think like that. I, I handle my business like that. Like, okay. I got this business but going. But that's when you're at your best. Not, and not, I know not the it. Finish. Hold on. I, I know it, finish. but I still need to really start to focus on completing okay. that one thing. Making sure it's running just the way it needs to be before I even start to take on something else. Like, I like a lot on my plate. I like a lot to challenge me. I like to have a lot on my list. So 
Now I think I need to just refine that list and go to the things that work and keep them working. So it just, you know, like I said, just crossing the T's and dot nine. Okay, I like that. Well, I'm gonna make one of Monica workout classes: spin, <laughs> cycling, Come swimming. You a hot uh, yoga? She do Not water polo. <laughs> what else she do? Uh, she uh, she just opened a hot air balloon uh, space out here in Don't Ashburn. Do it. I Don't wish, do it. but no, I didn't. Yeah, it's Bob line. I like, had a I had a homeboy took off in that hot air balloon in Jackson. And he ended up in Louisiana. <laughs> Listen, hope, you guys. hopefully you all have a Merry Christmas, yeah. Happy New Year's, if we don't get the opportunity to speak uh, to you again. From 26 minutes and uh, this 27 minute <laughs> guy, uh, happy holidays to uh, everyone. Thank you for joining episode 18. Hope you enjoy it. Catch you next week for episode 19. Happy holidays. <laughs>